Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to everyone. Welcome back to Teachers Para Class. And today we are going to learn about the new theme of the week. Can you guess what it is? We are going to learn about plants. Plants. And we also want to do a very fun activity at the end of the lesson. Are you guys ready? Cuz I'm so excited. So let's get started. Can someone tell me what plants is this? Yes, good job my friend. This is a flower. The word flower start with the letter F. F f flower. Hmm. Can you think of another word that start with the letter F? I can think about frog. fish and foot all those words start with the letter f same with the flower f f flower first we going to talk about all different parts with the flower and at the very bottom below down to earth you will see the roots the roots are help the flower to get water and nutrient from down to the earth next we have this long thing in the middle holding the flower up you know what's called is the stem the stem in the flower hold it's higher and then we have leaves can you count together how many leaves that we have in here 1 2 and three we have three leaf in here and at the very top is the flower itself do you know what color that flower good job now we are going to talk about the flowers need to grow do you see the big yellow thing up in the corner that's a sun a flower need a sunshine to grow Flower use sunshine with the process it kind of big work but it's called a photosynthesis so it change sunlight into a energy so that the flower can grow big and strong just like you grow big and strong and lastly flower needs rain or water and also air to help them grow now i would like to show you a fun activity how you can make a flower let's see All right boys and girls, I'm ready to show you a few ways to make some flowers at home. Remember to ask a grown-up before you set up any projects. First, I'm going to make a flower that looks a little bit like a tulip and you use a fork to make it. I'm going to use what color is this? That's right, it's red. I squirt some red paint on my plate. Close the top. And then I'm going to dip the back of the fork in the paint like this. and then use it as a stamper like that and that how many flowers did i make boys and girls let's count them together 1 2 3 that's right and if i want to make a stem remember we talked about stems and the parts of the flower i can use a marker to draw a line and some leaves or I can use what color is that boys and girls? Green, that's right. I can use green and I can paint a stem and leaves if I want to. You see? You can even use a bottle cap to help you make a flower. What color is this? That's right, it's yellow. I'm going to put some yellow on my plate. Close it up tight. and use the back of the bottle cap as a stamper. Watch this. Ready? Boop, 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 boop. And there's my flower. Now remember, your flower doesn't look have to look anything like my flower. All art can look very different. And there we go. There's my stem. Now if you don't have any paints at home, you can use other things that you might have at home. I have these cupcake liners at home and I'm going to glue them down to look like flowers. I'm going to use a little bit of glue stick on the paper like this. And I'm going to 
stick it down and pat it down. And maybe my stem is gonna be blue this time. Why not? It doesn't have to be green just because that side is usually green. There we go. So those are a few ways where you can make flowers at home. Maybe you can make flowers for somebody special in your life, or maybe you can make it for yourself.